Welcome to the Quick Start Guide to Installing PointWise. This video will show you just how easy it is to install PointWise on your computer. Now first of all, this video covers the installation of both the FlexNet License Manager and PointWise software on one machine. There are other types of setups that you can have, but this one is a simple installation on one computer. So let us begin. There are three basic steps to running PointWise on your computer. The first is to install the FlexNet License Manager, the second is to import a valid license file. The third is to install PointWise. Let's get started on step one, installing the FlexNet License Manager. The easiest way to get the FlexNet License Manager software is to download it from our website. Launch your preferred web browser and type in the address www.pointwise.com. Click on the support link and select Download PointWise. You should see the web page for the PointWise Quick Start Guide. We will be going through this step by step. You are actually accomplishing step one right now by watching this video. Let us continue on to step two where we will download the FlexNet License Manager. The computer that I am using is a 32-bit version of Windows, so I should download that version. For your computer, which may be different, locate the platform that best matches your computer system. Press Save. Press Save. Once the download is complete, press the Open Folder button. Right here is the FlexNet License Manager installation file. Before we install the FlexNet License Manager, I'm going to make a statement that will prevent some possible confusion, so please listen closely. If you are using Microsoft Windows, then you must have admin privileges to install the FlexNet License Manager. Conversely, if you are using either Linux or Mac, then you must not use a root account. If you ignore these requirements, the License Manager may not work. Now, if you do not know what I am talking about with regard to root or admin privileges, please call us or email us at PointWise and we will help you out. After all, that is what we are here for. Now I will install the FlexNet License Manager. On this computer, I am not the admin, so in order to properly run the installation program, I will have to right-click on the file name and select Run As. If you're using Windows 7, you'll have to select Run As Administrator. Push Run. A window pops up that asks me for the admin password. Fortunately, I know the password for this computer. Hopefully, you know yours too. If you do not, then you will have to ask your system administrator to help you with the next step. Go ahead and type in the password. Press OK. Press Next. Read through the license agreement carefully. If you agree to the terms of the license, then select the option labeled I accept the agreement and then push next. This is the default location of the license server. Press next. Make sure the configure service checkbox is checked. Press next. The default web management port is 8080 and this should work for most installations. Push next. Installation has finished. Push the Finish button. From now on, there will be a process running in the background called LM Admin. This is your FlexNet license server. This license server is ready to accept the license files from most applicable LM-enabled applications such as PointWise. Our next step is to request a license file from PointWise. This will require two pieces of information, the host name and the host ID. Although it is possible to get this information by using commands in a terminal or DOS command prompt, the best way to get this information is by using the new browser-based FlexNet License Administration Tool. To launch the browser-based administration tool, go to your browser's address bar, type in http colon slash slash and then the name of your computer. In this case it is meshing PC. Then type in colon 8080 and then press enter. Now you should see the FlexNet License Administration Tool interface. 
You can see that there are no concurrent licenses loaded. In order to get the host name and host ID, we will click on the administration link in the top right. Whenever you click on that link, you will be prompted for a username and password. The default value for username and password is the term admin. Use this for both. Press Submit. If this is your first time through, it will ask you for a new password. Please pay attention to this new password, because if you forget it, there is no way to retrieve it. You will have to uninstall and reinstall the FlexNet License Manager software. Push Save. Push OK. Now you should see a list of computer and network information. As mentioned earlier, requesting a license file requires two pieces of information, the host name and the host ID. Located right here is the host name. But where is the host ID? Well, as it turns out, host ID is synonymous with Ethernet address. So we will use the value for Ethernet address shown here as the host ID. To request a license file, we need to go back to the PointWise website. Under the Support link, select Request a License. The license page requires some information about both you and your computer. First type in your name, then your email. and then your customer ID. Every registered user of PointWise has a unique identifier called the customer ID. If you have an established relationship with PointWise, then you can find this value in your old license file. If you are a new user, then you can find this information in your email correspondence with our company. In this case, I will use PWI-30-01. Your role, are you a user or a system administrator? In this case, I'm just a user. We are requesting PointWise version 17. Reason, I'm a new customer. This computer has a 32-bit version of Windows. Operating system is Windows XP. And now for the host name. For this, we go back to the FlexNet License Administration page, and we select the host name. We copy that. And now for the host ID, we return to the administration page. And remember, host ID is synonymous with Ethernet address. And finally, at the bottom of the license request page is a little test. This determines whether you are a human or a robot. Now I can't really read this, so I'm going to cycle it. I think I can get this one. And push send. So apparently that worked. Depending on the time of day, I should receive an email that contains a simple text file containing my license. I have obtained a license for this computer ahead of time so that you don't have to wait. All we have to do now to complete the server setup is import our new license file. Let's go back to the FlexNet License Administration page. There are several tabs along the left side of this page. Click on the bottom tab labeled Vendor Daemon Configuration. Click on Import License. Push Browse to find the file. Ours is located on the desktop. Push Open. Push Import License. Push OK. The PWID daemon status should now say Running. 
From now on, when you boot up your computer, for Windows users, the license daemon will start up automatically. For Linux and Mac users, you will have to manually start it after every reboot. We are now finished with installing and initiating the license manager. Finally, we are ready to download the PointWise software and install it. We can do that right from the website. Click on Support and Download PointWise. Scroll down to the bottom. Once again, we are using the 32-bit version of Windows, so we have to choose the version of the installer compiled for 32-bit Windows. Push Save. Push Save. Push Open Folder. As we found earlier while trying to install the FlexNet License Manager, we need to run this installer as admin. To do that, we right mouse click on the file and select Run As. Push Run. We need to supply it the administrator password. Push OK. Please read the terms of the user license. If you accept these terms, push the I accept the agreement radio button. Push next. This is the default location it will be installed in. Push next. Push next. Push finish. Installation is now complete. All we have to do to run PointWise is double click on the icon. And there you have it. PointWise is now installed on this computer. Thank you for watching the Quick Start Guide.